A point you should consider is is when you reduce your card data, delete it, get rid of it. I, I, I strongly advocate this and, and understand that, that your customers will come back to you. Why are you keeping the card data? Because as long as you keep it, you have a security requirement associated with protecting that. So don't keep it. You don't have to protect it. And, and your return customers will keep being return customers. Uh, many businesses make the mistake of they just want to keep the card data for convenience sake or because they, they believe it's, it facilitates more transactions. It does not. You're not going to make another transaction until that uh, customer calls and asks you for another product. So get, in the meantime, get rid of it. Finally, I just I, I think I'd, I should make the point that uh, if if and when you do become PCI compliant, which is a long road, however you get there, understand that it guarantees nothing. PCI compliance is PCI is a risk management framework. Okay, it's a methodology for identifying, minimizing, and managing the risk to cardholder data. At the end of the day, there are no guarantees. Computer security is an oxymoron. The PCI framework gives you a uh, it gives you a framework to control that oxymoron and to minimize the risk of a breach. Okay, you can still be PCI, you can be PCI compliant and still experience a breach. If you understand that going into that and understand this as a risk management and make the decisions accordingly, you'll also find that will greatly reduce the impact of the program on your business.